everyone I'm Anne welcome to my channel Anne makes um, today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you and by the way if you think I look kind of tired I am <laughs> it's Monday and I woke up feeling tired and uh, yeah, it's just one of those Mondays. And uh, I had to go to uh, the town next to us today and I had time to stop into Dollar Tree, so I did. And the, th the thing is, I was really not like in the mood for shopping. And I thought, I, I don't need anything. The last thing I need to buy more of is craft supplies and stuff. And I just, I, I just wanted to get foam board, Velcro, and uh, I just, I had a, a list of things and that was it. Uh, but I walked out with, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six bags or seven bags actually, because I put two in one, so it was like seven bags of stuff. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff. So if you are interested in seeing what I found and there's some brand new things on my Dollar Tree, uh, stay tuned and we're going to uh, maybe rotate the camera uh, because the, as you can see the light is really strong right now so uh, you might get a better view if I just aim the camera down at the stuff. Uh, when I walked into Dollar Tree I saw that they had these brand new candles. Uh, they had these this set of the Rose Collection candles and they have them in these pretty glass votives and they had them in different colors. Um, they had like a really dark, dark, it was either a really dark purple or it was a black, it was hard to tell. And they had them in white of course, uh, in this lovely shade of rose or mauve. And uh, they also had, I think, a, a blue one. And, they also had some with like a mermaid and anchor uh, theme and they had them in blues and pinks and uh, I think greens and yeah, there were so many different colors and uh, I just chose these ones but you might want to go check out Dollar Tree because if you're into candles you you might like what you see now and they have very rare very light scent I find it very pleasant it's not strong so I got this one with which one this one says mermaid kisses and uh, like I said this is a rose collection these are the ones I got uh, the Kellogg's uh, Mini Wheats with pumpkin spice flavor. Uh, that sounded yummy to me, so I think my family will like to give this a try for breakfast or even a snack in the evening. <laughs> then my store had some more of the pizza crust. I had had not had these in a while, so I got four. And oh, I just got myself a bag of the Twizzlers nibs because I just like munching on these when I'm in the craft room. And they have a lot of Easter chocolate out. So I picked up a couple of the Reese's uh, peanut butter chocolate eggs here for my guys for Easter. So that's it for the, uh, the food stuff. In the next bag I have mostly household items. Uh, something that I purchase regularly are these hand soaps. This one is the Clark and Danver Ocean Fresh and the kissable one in the Black Cherry Merlot. We just needed to get some of these. I picked up a couple of these deodorants um, because I noticed the boys were running low and until I go to uh, Costco and get the ones that they do like to use, uh, I just thought these would tie them over in case they totally run out before I have a chance to go go buy the other ones. And I got this little electronic timer. I need uh, to bake some clay later on today. I need to make some beads and I just thought this would be a good thing to have because I have to time the cooking of my little oven. I got napkins. So you, 
often purchase of mine, a frequent purchase of mine. And they had these lovely little paper plates. Uh, every spring they come out with these lovely paper plates. And they have them in different colors. These are the two that I chose. And they come in the bigger sizes as well. So I got this. And I also got cute little napkins that coordinate. And as you may already know, I, I like to purchase these cute napkins. Uh, not only to serve with, to use with the plates to serve some sort of snack or treat, but also I like to use um, these in my collage and mixed media work. I purchased this package of kitchen sponges along with this little container here uh, that is a clip lock and that has a type of uh, rubber gasket type of thing inside so it will seal well. Uh, and I intend on using these two items, well I just really need one sponge and this, this box to make a tool to use in my craft room. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you more information about that maybe later in a later video or on my blog post or something because I'm not sure it's gonna work. So. I have a good intention. I also picked up this napkin holder. Now I know it's in my household stuff bag, but I'm actually going to try to use this in my studio inside my sewing machine cabinet to hold some uh, books that I have, some you know sewing machine books and stuff. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it's the right size. I'm hoping it is. So that is what this might be for. These were new at my Dollar Tree. They are called mini tasting spoons. And I got these because they were with a new type of uh, acrylic disposable dish that they have. And I'm very excited about that. And I'll show you in a little bit. Um, so I got these mini tasting spoons. I thought these are fun to serve special little treats, um, special fancy little foods. And, you know, my husband works in the food industry, so we are kind of big foodies in our house and um, I also thought hmm there might be a crafting purpose for these things <laughs> you know me now this is new at my Dollar Tree and I was very happy to see these these are trifle containers you see that they have they have a little base and look they're a nice size and the intention, of course, is to for these to be used uh, for the dessert to, you know, make a trifle and serve it, serve it in this, and uh, or you know, use it for presentation of food. And it's, you know, it's meant to be disposable. And I thought I'm going to get one exactly for that, for us to have uh, for special foods or, or food item that we like to make. And personally, I will probably. Uh, not dispose of this the first time I use it. We'll probably get a few uses out of it before I actually break it or something. But I also got some extra ones because I thought these would be really uh, good to have for crafting purposes. I was just like turning this over and looking at it and I could just see so many DIY possibilities with this. So uh, I picked that up. And seriously, this is $1.25. I'm in Canada, by the way, so that's why the items uh, at our Dollar Tree's are $1.25. I thought this is an excellent, excellent uh, buy. This next bag, I found this nice basket. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Easter stuff. And I guess this is more for an Easter basket. And I like the shape of this one. It reminds me a lot of um, uh, like a little cardboard crate for holding strawberries those little crates and with a handle though and they have them in different colors i chose this this pink color because i like to use pinks in my room and i prefer to get square containers as much as possible because uh, for storage purposes and organizing i find this works better it's more efficient so i got this one now inside of here um I placed the stones that I picked up. I've seen other people haul these and they had not arrived at my store until now. So I got a one that says faith, the other one says love, and this one says hope. 
So these are very pretty to put outside in my gardens, either in my rock garden or in a fairy garden or just in a planter. There's all sorts of ways to use these. Um, and I just think they're really cute. Although these are, these are not real, these are fake, but I just really like the colors. The leaves have this golden sheen to them. There are these berries, this, you know, sparkly pink ones, and they have beautiful colors. All the colors of spring you can imagine. They had brand new flowers, but I just limited myself to these ones. Some uh, other gardening items that I picked up while I was there because I, I know how it is. If I don't buy them now and I, I wait until I absolutely need something, they probably won't have it. So I stocked up on a few of the plastic uh, saucers that you put under uh, plant pots. So I got this larger set that comes in a set of three, uh, a medium one that is, uh, that come in a pack of four, and then the smaller ones come in a pack of six. So these also, I find, are a really good deal at Dollar Tree. If you go to um, a nursery, a gardening store, and even some department stores, you'll find that you will be paying about a dollar or more a piece. Well, in Canada, you will definitely pay more than a dollar a piece for these. So uh, Dollar Tree, I think, is, is an excellent place to buy them. Some other gardening items I saw that Tina had hauled these, and I said, oh, I have to be on the lookout for um, my store. So yes, Tina Kazarian, she had hauled these, and she loves to um, put pots out on her patio and, and decorate with plants, and it's just beautiful. And I love to garden very much. So I thought, oh, these are gonna be so practical for this summer to hang some plants, to hang some pots from uh, hooks, and and posts that we have around our house and maybe even the gazebo. So I got a few of these. I also picked up a package of these big S hooks. I only picked up one package because I know I have more somewhere. I'm just not sure where I put them away last year. So I got some of this. This really more to remind me to look for these hooks before spring gets here. I purchased some terracotta pots. I have a crafty DIY to do in the next coming weeks. It will be on my blog and I will be participating in a crafter's blog hop, a uh, 15 minute craft uh, with pots, with these little plant pots. So I wasn't, I'm still not sure what I'll be making so I just got a variety of sizes and yeah, that's what I got and I know I'll, I'll have I use for these uh, everywhere else, perhaps in my garden or in my home. Now I was really excited that my Dollar Tree had these new little cactus, these beautiful little cacti. And I really like cacti. Um, full disclosure here, years ago before the fairy garden trend, I was very much into making terrariums. and. Um, and, I'm, I, and I wasn't very good at it because I'm, I'm a very neglectful plant owner. <laughs> but I, do, I did enjoy making what nowadays we call fairy gardens. I would make little desert gardens. And I'd put like little toy donkeys in there and little sombreros and all sorts of little things because I just, I'm just quirky that way. So when I saw this, it reminded me of my love of making little gardens. I'm sorry, my camera keeps falling down. So I thought maybe I could try making something like that again. And so I got these cute little guys. Um, these are brand new at my Dollar Tree. Maybe they are coming to your Dollar Tree or you've seen them already. So I got one of each that was available at my store. And let's see. finally this one. So these are my little, my little buddies here, my little cactus. I just think they're really cute. And I can't really prick myself on them because the pricklies are kind of soft. <laughs> I got that. In addition to the other gardening stuff I got, I got this uh, cocoa liner. This cocoa liner thing that you put in a pot 
in the garden for the flowers and usually you put this in a, in a hanging pot and um, I might go back and get a whole bunch more because I do use a lot of hanging pots in the summertime but I picked this one up because I thought I could do something crafty with this but again I'm not saying too much because it might be a bomb and finally but not least we are getting to the craft supply bag uh, these were new at my store. They have these packages of tissue paper. I had to get these. I collect tissue papers and napkins for all sorts of crafting, collage work, mixed media. So I got these because I thought they would be really neat prints. And oh, uh, I mentioned at the beginning I had a list of specific items I needed, one of which was this Velcro. And uh, I wanted the white Velcro. I accidentally took a black one. Darn it. Okay, so I just wanted white Velcro. Uh, so I could use this with this foam form core board. It's like I, I can't even fit it under the camera. I mean, you don't just, anyway. You know, those giant sheets of foam core board that they have at the Dollar Tree. I got some of those and some Velcro. And I am thinking of a way to make a system, a pull-out system, with those clear bins that I bought at a at Dollarama that I really, really like in, their, in my studio. So I'm working on something like that, something for that. The other crafty items I picked up, I was so happy that my store had these, were the little bunny tails because I saw other people on YouTube hauling these and I thought, oh, I hope my store gets them. Although I could make these, I know, I could probably make a dozen of these and they wouldn't cost me much, but seriously, why bother? It's already made. So I got these cute little bunny tails. They already come on the little um, alligator clip. So these are great to use for all sorts all sorts of decorating purposes at Easter. But think beyond Easter, people. You could use, this could be a snowman. This could be anything. So, anyway. Um, down in the toy aisle, I checked through the little toys to see what they would have that would be useful in uh, my, my mixed media work and my decorating in uh, a fairy garden. And lo and behold, for the first time, I saw they had a bag of dogs and cats. Not farm animals, not wild animals, not snakes, not little toy soldiers, but dogs and cats. So, but the funny part is, the cats inside of here are as big, or if not bigger, than the large dogs. So they're not to scale, okay? But that doesn't matter. I just won't put the cats and the dogs together. Um, and they are kind of ugly looking in color, I'm sorry, but they couldn't be painted or colored. So I just thought I, I would get these and put them in my craft stash for all the crafting projects I can think of. I purchased this package of tweezers. There are four pairs in here. Uh, that's a really good deal. This is for uh, going in my son's toolkit for his uh, model building. And I picked up this roll of white, um, you know, faux duct tape, again, to cover the ends of the foam core board that I'll be cutting up. By the way, this tape that I've been buying at Dollar Tree, I was in need of white duct tape the other day to use um, in a home improvement project. And I have to tell you, it's not good for that. It doesn't hold. It really doesn't hold up, but uh, to use, you know, just in my crafting, if I don't need it to hold anything together, it's fine. But yeah, if if I need to hold something really well together, I be I'm better off paying for the real duck brand duct tape. Um, uh, my store had got got finally these uh, new little blocks. I I saw Cher uh, from Crafty Cher Cupcake. Uh, she hauled these to use in her fairy garden. 
And I thought, that's a very smart girl because that's the way I think too. I purchased these because I use them in different crafting things and, and decorating. I have used these little blocks just for the wood themselves. And this, this new type that they have at Dollar Tree comes in two different shades. So that's even more fun. Uh, I use these to make little stamps. Uh, they make great little pieces of furniture in a fairy garden, definitely. Make great little steps. They make great little legs on furniture that you can make with cardboard or if you use a box and you uh, there's so many things that you can do with these besides play with them <laughs> and playing with them is fun too now another toy that I purchased and I purchased it for the material is this three-in-one board game it is made of wood it's a, just a a board game to play, you know, checkers, chess, backgammon, and all the little pieces here, you know, are cut out. There's all these little bonums here to play the, the various games. And um, I wanted this for the pieces. I This is a great surface to do a project on. All these little pieces of wood, the squares and the little circles, there's so many crafting DIY possibilities with these. So that is why I picked this up. Because we already have chests and checkers and backgammon boards and stuff. So I didn't need, we didn't need another one, but I just thought, oh, for the wood, for the pieces, it's so worth a dollar twenty-five. Now I picked up a coloring book. It is a funny type of coloring board. It is a uh, Art with Edge, the zombie days. Like, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and yes, I did watch last night's very sad episode. I'm still very sad about it, but I knew it was coming. But anyway, when I saw this, I thought, oh, I have to get this, because there are so many creative possibilities with uh, coloring books. And I just thought, this is so fun. Um, and the pages are, are nice thickness for coloring and these I could be, use this in mixed media work I could use this for Halloween maybe there's different things you can do and for kids who like to color uh, for anybody who likes to color it's a good deal it's got 40 pages in here so you get you get a lot of coloring for your money I saw other people hauling these notebooks my Dollar Tree just got these uh, it, they look like wood. It's just really thick cardboard sh shaded like wood. And it's got like this carving here that says brave and there's lettering over it to be brave. And they had different models. I, I just limited myself to one of these cute notebooks. They're trying to be good, but they are very, very cute. So of course with Easter around the corner, Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of new uh, ribbons just for this you know this time of year and the floral garden selection and they also have the uh, what do you call this the um it's not ribbon but the little sisal rope there and they have all these beautiful colors and i don't think i got every single color that they had i just got some of my favorites and these are the ribbons that my store had and some of the little ropes and finally here's the last thing I have to show you is the felt ribbon that is new at my Dollar Tree they have these felt ribbons in uh, this blue pink purple and this green so these are the four colors that the felt ribbons come in and they have different designs. Uh, they have, I think they have four or five designs per color. The only one that I took, all of them is in the pink because pink is the color that I probably will be using the most with this. And so on some of these you have just like a fancy border and some others are a butterfly pattern um, there's also like a rose pattern here, 
and here's just like a, a mix of flower pat flower pattern and yep that's it that's all I have so that is it for my huge Dollar Tree haul where I thought I wasn't gonna find much today but I, I turned it turned out that I did so <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope to come up with a lot of crafting projects with all the stuff I just bought and I hope to share that with you as soon as I can. Take care of yourself and I'll see you. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, take care of yourself. Thank you so much for coming back and watching and everything that you do to support this channel uh, and I'll see you after the next video. Bye-bye.